Coach, congratulations. Big shiny trophy there for winning the 4A tennis championship. Your girls did the first tennis state championship for girls or boys at Dutch Fork. It's got to be very, very rewarding after a, after a great season to win it all. Yes, it has been. Um, this has like been in the making. We've been talking about it for several years, um, and it is a very nice experience. When you went into the state tournament, obviously you knew you had a chance. Did did you expect to win it? Did you expect to, what, or I guess I should ask you, what were your expectations going in? Um, this year is our third year back. Um, and this year, yes, I expected it to but, happen this year. I knew that we had the talent that they could do it this year. Because you were coming off of two consecutive uh, runners up, right? Correct, yes. Last year, um, I knew it would be tough it, it, to pull out. The year before, I was just happy to get them to there, um, you know, to experience it. Um, but this year, they've had three year, or two previous years of experience being at state finals. Uh -huh. And I really think that that helped us with the getting the the edge. Sure. So I, I'm thinking that after being second for two straight years, that would have been one runner up you wouldn't have wanted. <laughs> no, no, we were, um, the third time was a charm. Obviously, you have a lot of talent on this team this year, and uh, including the state runner up just today. Yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about some of the girls, if you would. Okay, at number one, we have Lauren Yock, and today she finished up um, all state, finished second in the state um, individual singles tournament. Um, she has, she works year round, plays year round, keeps, you know, she's at clinics, she's taking, um, playing um, tournaments and just practices year round. At number two, we have Sam Calais. She also finished um, as an all-state player. Um, she also plays a lot, uh, year round player, uh, tournaments. Um, and both of them are very hard workers. To be really successful, I mean, it, it really is a year-round sport now, isn't it, if you want to be great? It is. Um, you know, we would do fine um, with the players, like our lower, they do fine in the region. Mm -hmm. But in order to make it in the state or make it and win the state, you have to have players that play year-round. I know that you've got, with these young gals, you've got a real chance to make some noise in the coming years. This Could, could this maybe be a dynasty? Well, I'm <laughs> hoping the next two years will be great, even beyond that. But, you know, we've got sophomores at one, two, and three, and hopefully we'll be strong for the next couple of years anyway. And we've got players after these seniors that were at, my, um, at four through five and number two doubles uh -huh. that I think um, we've got some younger players that hopefully can step in those shoes and hopefully um, do well. Well, Coach Hills, congratulations. Uh, there can only be one state champion, and you are it this year with the Dutch Fork Girls. So uh, uh, enjoy it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Coach.